We want to bring in Kelsey Kernstein right now. Last week, she was in Alabama speaking with Vicki White's co-workers, uh, her boss, the sheriff there, visiting the jail where Vicki White worked and where Casey White was being held as an inmate. Uh, Kelsey is joining us now to explain what the Lauderdale County Sheriff is saying about the outcome of the manhunt. Kelsey. Well, Adrian, Sheriff Singleton told me time and time again he considered Vicki White family. They had worked together for 16 plus years. She was a model employee, even winning an award. And I was there reporting Alabama all last week, interviewing Sheriff Rick Singleton. He spoke of how responsible, dedicated, hardworking Vicki was, saying she must have been coerced. But then with time, investigators were able to uncover that Vicki was visiting Casey White in prison for one to two years with under different aliases. Now, Singleton also just shocked. How could Vicki do something like this? We trusted her. Singleton spoke to Rudabay Shabazi on Prime last night saying he has finally come to some acceptance that maybe Vicki White wasn't who he thought she was. Uh, we thought we knew Vicki White. Obviously, we didn't. Uh, to think that she was capable of pulling a stunt like this just uh, is beyond uh, imagination. I mean, we just, we just, I guess we're still struggling with it to a degree, but uh, she absolutely, you know, planned this, orchestrated it. Uh, he was behind bars. He really couldn't do much in the position he was in. So she, she put all this together, and it's all on her. And I have to point out, this is about a town of about 40,000, Florence, Alabama. This has been a whirlwind for them, as well as Sheriff Singleton. Really shocked by all of the media this whole situation has been getting. And we saw him somewhat choked up on that presser last night, making the announcement that both of them were in custody. And uh, I'm sure this has been extremely overwhelming for Rick Singleton. Um, but we also know that Vicki was rushed to the hospital with a self-inflicted gunshot wound and an autopsy report is expected to be performed today. Adrian. Yeah, just Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.